Welcome to Gallery and Music. Jean-Léon Gérôme (1824–1904) was a French painter and sculptor who is best known for his highly detailed historical and Orientalist paintings. He was a prominent figure in the academic art movement in the 19th century and was one of the most successful and well-respected artists of his time. Jérôme was born in Vesoul, France, and studied painting at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris. He began his career as a painter of classical and historical scenes, and his work was heavily influenced by the neoclassical style of his teacher, Paul de la Roche. Throughout his career, Jérôme received numerous honors and awards, including the Grand Prix at the Paris Universal Exposition in 1900. His paintings were highly sought after by collectors and were exhibited in major galleries and museums throughout Europe and the United States. In addition to his work as a painter, Jérôme was also a skilled sculptor and created several notable works, including a statue of the French writer Émile Zola. Jérôme's paintings are characterized by their meticulous attention to detail, precise draftsmanship, and vibrant color palette. He was particularly interested in depicting historical and exotic subjects, and many of his works feature scenes from ancient Greece and Rome, as well as images of the Middle East and North Africa. While Jérôme's work was highly regarded in his time, it fell out of favor with the rise of modernism in the early 20th century. However, in recent years, there has been renewed interest in his work, and his paintings continue to be admired for their technical skill and striking imagery. Frin before the Areopagus, 1861. This painting depicts the trial of the Greek courtesan Frin, who is accused of impiety. The painting is notable for its historical accuracy and detailed depiction of the ancient Greek courtroom as well as its portrayal of the dramatic tension between Frin and her accusers. The Snake Charmer, 1870. This painting depicts a young boy playing a flute while a snake is charmed by the music. The scene is set in an ornate room, and the boy is surrounded by various objects from the Middle East. The painting is notable for its intricate details and rich colors. The Carpet Merchant, 1887. This painting depicts a carpet seller in an oriental bazaar. The seller is surrounded by colorful carpets and fabrics, and the scene is filled with the hustle and bustle of a crowded market. The painting is notable for its vibrant colors and its realistic portrayal of life in the Middle East. Slave Market in Ancient Rome, 1884. The painting depicts a scene from the ancient Roman slave market, where a group of slaves are being inspected and sold by potential buyers. The painting is highly detailed and realistic, with Jérôme using historical sources to ensure accuracy. The painting is notable for its use of light and shadow, and its depiction of the brutality and dehumanization of the ancient Roman slave trade. Polis Verso, 1872. This painting depicts a scene from ancient Rome, where a gladiator is waiting for the emperor's signal to either spare or kill his opponent. The painting is notable for its historical accuracy and attention to detail, as well as its dramatic lighting and composition.